Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Fire 4 Red Flood is Russia. Let's continue on from the last left off. So, 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 what are you doing? I mean, I can understand you're trying to attack. But it's actually not really working out the way I would like it to. We still need 100 political power because we can actually switch over to a war economy. I don't know that's necessarily causing major issues in what we're doing, but... You're, you're technically not surrounded. Because this area is owned by Romania. Even though like, it would be nice if Romania joined my faction. Or if you know France would join... You know, I can join the French faction or something. But you know, just get them off our backs. Or if France theoretically declared war on somebody else. But I don't think... They're, I mean, they're apparently trying to go faster. But I don't know if that really... Um, does anything. Or you know, anything that involves them going to war with Germany. Because Germany is looking pretty strong right now. There is... No doubt about that. Okay, I think most of you can actually, for right now, stop the attack. You and yellow, for sure, I don't think need to be doing it. Actually, no, you want to try to get your way into uh, Vilness. Please and thank you. The rest of you more or less can stop attacking. At least for the time being. All of you as well. Like, what, what the hell are you doing? The sit, the sit still. It's 65 here. Kiev, I mean, it's only like one province away. So we're, we're pretty close to being able to push our way through. You know, perhaps. Again, Vilnius. I mean, how close is uh, Lithuania? They're very close. I think I do think Vilnius would just be... The final straw that would break their back. It's 1930. It's 1940. 1939, I should say, basically. So, let us research. You know, I'm just going to go straight for the uh, better research speed. I think that is a okay. These troops that uh, we had are basically kind of garbage. But that's okay. And let's get our final tech. Mighty Army. War support goes up by 20%. I mean, we're already at 69%, so I don't know if we can get any better than that. But what do I know? So I think that we need to attack basically every single province to make sure we can definitely um, take Vilnius. I don't want you... When are, we, when are you going to show up? You're going to show up in one day, 21 hours. And any delay in that... Plays to our benefit. We got 94, 95. I mean, a force attack maybe would work. We have 125 uh, command power right now, which is more... What, what do you cap at, then? I guess 125, they must have changed it to be slightly higher than normal. Please do not break out of this uh, encirclement to have you on. It would be really nice if you could just sit still and die. You know, not to sound too rude or sound too aggressive, but... Just to, like, actually die... That helped me out quite a bit. Yeah, no, they reinforced Vilnius because of course they did. Okay, so you actually move troops here. Why are you strategically redeploying? You don't have to. Green, everybody else also just stopped the attacks right now. It's really not getting anything... Uh, done at the moment. They did abandon, abandon Vilnius again. But I think maybe overall we do need just to uh, sit back and wait a little bit. I mean, if we can push our way to Kiev, that would be major. Please make your way to Kiev. How long will it take for you to get there? It's going to take you one day, eight hours. These guys will be there the second the bat battle ends. But we did get there first. So Ukraine is looking pretty close to the capitulation there. So if we can take Odessa... 
That'll definitely be the end of the Ukrainian resistance. Yeah, what if we push in something? Oh no, this is the broken province. Ah! We don't want to be there. Or at least, you know, advancing through there is going to be a little bit difficult. Why can he not break Odessa? It's just extremely tough, I guess. But if you would please actually just break it, like, that would be so cool of you. Yeah, so we got light tanks. We can upgrade our great war tanks to be something a little bit less garbage. Um, we go for light tanks too. Might as well. I mean, again, I think this is the only important province of um, Belarus we care about. Or Bratislav, the top. Whatever one we can actually get to first. Is this another broken province? These are both broken provinces. So actually, I can't send I can't send supplies down there. Like these states just don't they just don't work. I don't know what's wrong with them. Like this this state I think is kind of one of them. Like, that's for here. 27 support. I have no idea, to be completely honest. Maybe because we don't... No, we have 80% of the state, so I don't know what other issues there could theoretically be. I think it's just that it's broken. Like, the, like the provinces aren't mapped out correctly or, or something like that, because I don't imagine... Or I can't imagine what else would be the issue. Please, France. Leave Odessa behind. Because as soon as that's taken, Ukraine falls. But also, I, like, I can't leave my troops in. If I leave my troops in here, they'll, they'll just die. Because they literally do not have supplies to actually keep fighting. So, you know, it's a, it's a weird situation to be in. To say the least. Hopefully these promises get fixed in uh, the, the full version. But I can't tell if this one is... Like, it, does it even show up, like, here? No, it actually gives us no information about it whatsoever. Like, it says that this is a working one, but this one here doesn't exist. So, as far as the game's concerned, these are not connected by land. Because it doesn't register this as actual being... Being real territory, I guess you could say. Yeah, so it's, it's just a little bit dumb, a little bit broken. I, can't, I would like Romania to join my faction, but, you know, they would be able to help me out a lot. Please. For all that is holy, please let me take the city. There we go. So I think that should mean Ukraine will capitulate at midnight, and that should at least be the first domino to fall. It was. Excellent. But does that actually really accomplish anything? I mean, we have all that territory behind us. Like, here is now technically under our control, but the AI can easily just move troops in. But we need to essentially break this line and then quickly try to cover up this gap. Or hope that the AI is going to move enough troops down to the south there. To cover the gap for us. Yeah, because this guy is so much attrition. Because, again, technically, he, he doesn't have access to supplies. For some reason. It's just broken. It doesn't even register that there's actually an issue. So, once you're all dead. So, I basically want all of you to deploy up to here now. Cavalry Division, please take over here. You march. I mean, they're trying to reconnect their territory back. Which is understandable, but... I 
we need these breakthroughs. Like, badly. Yeah, like, these other two, the truths are in the Broken Provinces, actually cannot even move. Because there's just such a huge issue with their uh, supply chain. Okay, so we were, we were close to Vilnius. Uh, these guys are kind of... Eh, they're you know, a little bit worrying. To say the least of what's happening here. Yeah, so they're, they're moving their troops down south, which is nice at least. Orange, uh, you can also definitely extend your front line to be out over here. All four of you are actually on this big front. Yes, and keep on shifting your focus up over there. And I'm hoping nobody goes into like this uh, little tentacle over here, because that would be uh, worrying for us. They actually push us out one province away from Vilnius. Not the best. Yes, 30 support equipment, I'll definitely take it. Uh, these two divisions will die soon. And somebody else declared war on Alte. I mean, that, again, I don't think that matters to us at all. But okay. So I think green definitely needs to attack. Bree incredibly aggressive with his attacks. And maybe we can see a collapse of the um, Belarus as well. Okay, so yeah, you guys all just kind of strategically move forward. Yeah, they're all just trying to get to where they need to be. Meaning that a lot of their, you know, front more or less is significantly exposed. As soon as you're done being attacked, I want you to immediately counter your way into Vilnius. I want you guys to re-attack you. And assuming they don't have more troops than normal here. Yeah, no, see, they can just march to these provinces and kill me because these areas are just broken. Which is a, a real shame. So we got the radio. That'll at least make our... Reinforcements a little bit better. What can I do with support? Do I, need, do I need any support companies? I actually do have some. So yes, might as well upgrade those guys. Are you going to take that province? I'm leaning towards no, but I'm also thinking Vilnius should hopefully fall soon. Belarus has capitulated, and I think Lithuania is about to capitulate as well. Um, Poland will then just be our main adversary. But now, of course, we're going to be in a weird situation where all of our front lines, they do get broken a little bit. Uh, you know, once somebody does capitulate, there's not much you can actually do about that, though. It is just how it is. Yeah, just try to attack all of you. Anybody who's on blue line is now just going to be here. Oh god, what's happening? I mean, we took Vilnius, which should mean a Lithuanian capitulation as well. It was not a Lithuanian capitulation. They still have Kaus. But it looks like they're abandoning that province soon as well. Again, it's a, it is a little bit hard to tell what exactly is happening because there's so much stuff on screen, you know, to say it lightly. Anybody who's part of this army is actually here. But these all have now gone all the way over here, which is not what I was wanting. 
Which one of you is blue? Yeah, blue line is just like right here. Purple line. I don't even know where you were before, but you could be here. White line. We're going to shrink you down to here. Green line can be like that, I guess. We just really need some reorganization at the moment. So you attack here. Take over Kanas. With that city fallen, again, then Lithuania should be gone for good. And then it's just a massive assault into Poland proper, which I don't think should be that difficult. Unless, of course, they regroup this entire... Okay, we need to kill you. To make sure we can kind of kill everybody within this little, uh, kind of bubble area. And yeah, make sure that, um, they don't reinforce this line at all. Yeah, you guys are basically all completely screwed. There's nothing I can do here. Unfortunately, it's just straight up broken. I mean, they'll, they'll take over these little empty areas in the bottom. That's fine. I'm not even going to you know who cares about that stuff. It doesn't actually make a difference. Uh, the white army definitely needs to expand on that front. Like that. Um, we're still at 98. You know what? I don't think this campaign is even going to last long enough for us to um, really worry about getting our way up to war economy. It probably in the in the long run doesn't actually matter. Okay, so green army, you need an offensive plan is basically hey, push your way to this river in Poland. Um The white army, yeah, you don't have a, ba a plan either. You're just going to push your way here. And that should more or less work out okay. The capital of Lithuania should fall soon. Will that fix any of these supply issues? I'm going to go and say no to that one, but... You know, I can always I can always dream. They're going to put purple, like, right here, and you're just going to spearhead to Warsaw. As soon as you're done dealing with this little pocket, of course. There we go. A Lithuanian capitulation. Fantastic. So now, hopefully, all of you can begin to push into here as well. And you only have, like, 40 divisions left. Might not, probably not even 40, actually. Which is just going to be embarrassing you, for you. So I think we're just going to make this episode as long as it's necessary for us to actually beat Poland. If it takes 15 minutes, it takes 15 minutes. If it takes, you know, an hour, it takes an hour. But I definitely, I, wanted, I want this quick little Russia campaign to be done before the full mod is released. There we go. So you, all you guys have been freed. Come back over to Poland. At 90%? Yeah, but, you know. The numbers don't lie. It's looking pretty bad for them. What can I say? Also, like, none of you side with true Germany. Interesting. So, race against cancelism. So, Prussia. So, it takes a while for... Actually, it doesn't even take that while. They're actually done by 1939. Top of Bulgaria, arm whoever the hell this dude is, deal with the Anglo Devil, support Finland. I don't know why you hate the Brits so much. I mean, they're just a uh, normal democracy. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe it's just that they are... I mean, I mean they have a, a king at this point, so maybe that's why they're very... Maybe they're anti-monarchist. I really don't know too much about what their actual political beliefs are. So do you guys at least have supplies now? The answer to that question is still no, but hopefully that'll be resolved soon. Brown, I don't think, has an attack yet. You're going to push away with the Danzig. And I think just a general assault across the entire line here. And I honestly think just going to the speed 5, I think, should be fine.
Yugoslavia is going to war on Bulgaria. Okay, Bulgaria is revisionist socialist. Maybe they'll actually join the international. We shall see. I mean, Yugoslavia is accelerationist. So I think Yugoslavia might join... I mean, you can join factions, right? Yes. But Bulgaria might join Germany. Yugoslavia would then join France, and that would kick off World War II. I mean, that's entirely within the realm of possibility, I would say. Yeah, these guys basically all got completely broken. There's not nothing you can do about that, because the provinces just are not... I, I just think they're, like, not mapped correctly. Because what else could it possibly be? Uh, so let's make our... Uh, our Air Force a little bit better. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure these guys just die because they have no supplies. Which really sucks that, uh, it has to happen this way. But what can I do? What can I do? Well, for one, I'm going to drive this uh, truck up to Warsaw and then drive it up to Danzig. If that truck dies, the truck dies. Well, can, well you know, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Except he immediately got intercepted, so maybe it wasn't actually that big of a risk. So Japan's declared a war on Shank. Uh, are you part of the Japanese faction? No. But Japan is just basically attacking all these random uh, Chinese miners. I guess, I'm guessing at some point they'll try to unify the entire area. We shall see. They're going to support Finland. Maybe that's going to get Finland into their faction as well. I'm guessing it's support Finland against us, but... You know, that's just the best guess. I mean, did Austria... I was going to say, did Austria make it a little faction of Prussia? But of course they did not, because Austria is definitely dead. And under the complete authority of... Uh, Of the, uh, the Germans. You guys come back down like this. I mean, it's straight. Because it seems like they have supplies up here. So I'm not... I'm, like, is it, is it a Russian issue? I mean, I don't know why it would be. I don't think it, the, the game works like that. But what do I know? Okay, so kill all of you. Pretty sure all of you can basically just like march in like this. And slowly just squish them down. How close is, is Poland to capitulate? They're about halfway through. I don't know if... I'm hoping that just taking over Warsaw should be enough to get them to fall. I mean, are they getting volunteers? Yeah, they're getting volunteers from France. But that is about it. Yes, please reorganize yourself. And so we got like 48 divisions in the one province that actually physically cannot have supplies in it. Eventually that situation down here will clear itself up. Uh, put more factories here. Just kind of put them wherever. Again, this is definitely going to be the last episode of the series. So it doesn't really make a difference, I would say. I mean, Warsaw is close to falling. We did take over another big city. Let's research the better engineering companies. And it looks like Warsaw should fall very, very soon. Okay, 95. 96. You're so close. There you go. 97. And I don't think they should get reinforcements there in time. And I... No, they did. Barely. But there we go. Is that enough for a Polish capitulation? The answer is no. Not quite. But once we take over this city, that should be uh, good enough. Or until we push our way to either you. Or you guys push your way up to... Uh, I guess Dan's exactly part of Prussia. But, you know, close enough. So let's upgrade to light tanks. And soon, uh, might as well get light, light tank 3. I mean, it's going to take uh, like a long time, but again, it doesn't really make a difference right now. And I think that should be a, friend, a Polish capitulation. No, they're exactly 20%. So 
exactly 20% is not enough. Oh, wait, never mind. There we go. So we'll keep on passing our turns. Poland will take all states. Ukraine take all states. Lithuania take all states. Belarus take all states. And our turn here. The Russian Empire, I would say, has expanded quite significantly with just that nice little war. So I think with that, the series will be ending. Because again, none of this does anything. None of this makes any difference within like the way the game works. There's actually like no more events for Russia as far as I know. Um, but yeah, I think that will be a good time to end the series. Tune in tomorrow. We'll start up another Red Flood in the another Red Flood series in the actual released version of the mod that will be on the Sleep Workshop. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Always subscribe and goodbye.